If you didn't see the last video, I recommend you watch it all two minutes of it and come back to this video to continue the draft. My next character is going to be, drumroll please, Yamcha. Underrated character for sure. Maybe not in the games, but definitely in the anime. Matter of fact, let me get this off my chest. This ain't right for my boy. You telling me Yamcha gets folded by a Cyberman and the whole community's like, dang, Yamcha really died to a Cyberman. That's crazy. And clowns my boy for 30 years, almost. Mind you, this is the same Cyberman that supposedly has the same power level, if not a higher power level, than Raditz. A guy who Goku and Piccolo couldn't defeat by themselves. I promise, I'm not a power scaler. But give me this one time, please. Not even Chaozu gets clowned on this much. Man had a whole speech, blew himself up, and left Nappa at a whopping 99 HP. I could go into depth, but that's not what this video is about. Yamcha Spirit Ball and Wolf and Fist, along with him being my third favorite character. Yamcha is a solid nine. While he is a top three for me, he is getting washed in this game. We're gonna put him at the bottom. The pick is in for the Charlotte Hornets. Let's go back to the podium. With the sixth pick in the Sparking Zero draft, I select Oob. It's the first country outside of the United States that we have seen have these types of numbers at the top of the draft. Three top 10 picks here. He went from playing 17 total minutes last season for Chalet's pro team to moving into an impactful role with both the French League and FIBA Champions League. Doesn't shoot the highest percentage right now, but his three-point shooting is promising, which is something that Charlotte can use. His size, his versatility, and his defensive energy will also be big in Charlotte. Jonathan Gavoni has more. Let's be real, Oob is that character that when he gets added to games, we'll be excited because it's Oob. Play him for a week and never touch him again. But this time, I gotta let him shine. Oob could really fall under the underrated list too, right? Actually, no, because he's not underrated. More like underused. Oob, for the sixth pick, you are going at number six. You're too good to be a number nine. And I'm sorry, game, I cannot put you in top five. I'll do one more for this video, and then I feel like I should leave the last three for the next video. So the next character is going to be the Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. Definitely going to be the overpowered one in the lineup. Bro, actually, do you do you know how smart Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta is? I know I'm supposed to rank them on skill level in junk, but now I'm just showing their feats as a reason for why I'm picking them. When Omega threw the negative energy ball at Gogeta, First of all, he didn't move. Gogeta kicked the ball into the air, releasing the negative energy force field that was surrounding the Earth. Joked around with Omega Shenron till he used too much energy to keep the fusion up, which led to Goku summoning the spirit bomb from gathering energy around the universe. Something he couldn't do if Gogeta didn't flex his power, killing Omega Shenron. Besides, Gogeta's gonna be the character I pick when somebody decides to take the fun out of the game and sweat. Put Gogeta at Number five, I can't use them that much, but I can't can't use them, you know what I'm saying? Come on now. But that's gonna do it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. The last video will be ready in about an hour, maybe. The last video is upon us, as in right here, right now. Character number eight is Goku Mid. This is my balanced character for the lineup, and what a fine balanced character to pick. Mid Goku has three features that I'm definitely using to the fullest of my potential. His Super Saiyan transformation, which looks sick as hell in the game. His Meteor Smash, you know the one. And the u Fool, which is the angry Kamehameha. We gonna use that to the fullest for sure. If he had the slap he did on Frieza, then bro would be elite. For sure. Besides being an iconic character, it's also a Goku, so I chose my favorite one. Goku mid is heading to number two on my list. Great character, and I unlock him early as well. If you see me online, he will most likely be on my team and starting. Number nine is Baby Vegeta. Baby is a character I've always wanted to play well with. Just look at fighters. I'm not good enough to probably play him on a comp level, but damn it, I gotta try. <laughs> this also unlocks all the forms, including a giant form. Why is it not on the list of people I have to draft? Point being, I always wanted to play as Baby in Dragon Ball Z games. And if Spark and Zero is giving me that chance, I'ma have to take that. Baby is number three on the lineup, top three, and a potential giant on the squad as well, working out like a charm. And our final character, the number one draft pick is Vegeta Super. Vegeta is my favorite character in all of Dragon Ball. 
I've been there since day one, watching this man grow as a character. Kinda. I really wasn't there for Super until the end. But my point still stands. Not only that, he got that shit on though. Drip was so nice, all the Z fighters stole his look during the Cell game. Not only that, bro was a menace with the moves that he has. I know some of y'all saw my last Universe video. I was using that Gallic Gun like it was my move. Big Bang Attack is gonna be spammy. I feel like it is. And if I'm feeling froggy, I'ma blow myself up. In game. In game. Number one, you already knew. If you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Y'all know what's next. Tuesday is the day. We are right there. So let's do what we gotta do then. I'ma talk to you guys later.